So it is currently bright and early. It is a little bit past 7 a.m. And I just finished getting ready to head to Seoul for the day because we are going to be hanging out at the headquarters of Kotra today. I am thrilled to be going there and just getting kind of like a sneak peek behind the scenes of Korean office life. And I'm gonna share it all with you. I already know we're gonna learn so much more later today, but from what I understand, Kotra is a trade and investment organization that is operated by the Korean government. And they have really, really helped with stimulating Korea's economy through various trade promotions. So I'm really hyped to go see their office and learn more about them. This is a huge company. So I'm really, really honored to have been invited there today to film for you guys. And I also know some people are curious about what it's like to work at a Korean company, what Korean offices look like and stuff like that. Obviously every company is going to be different. I'm excited to be able to give you guys a little glimpse of it today. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bag packed up. We're heading to Seoul. I will see you guys there in just a couple of hours. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just met up with Hunsu and she's going to be kind of my mentor for the day. I'm going to be following her around and learning all about Kotra. We're currently in the lobby. I love this building. It's so bright. So here is Kotra headquarters and to introduce about us, uh, we support export and investment of Korean companies. So that is the reason that we always welcome all the buyers and investors from all over the world. Do you know how many branches we have around the world? I know it's a lot. I don't yeah, like guess maybe what it is. five. Five, ten, more than 20, that, more than that, 30, 50, more than that. We have 129 branches in 84 countries. Oh my gosh, so all those branches, they are kind of advertising and promoting the yes, import and export of Korean yes, products exactly. all over. We got it. So, oh, there's USA. Ooh. The banners that they use outside, right? Because right. <gasps> uh, they use a lot of those in Korea, I've noticed, yeah. the piece in the office it's so quiet in here but i'm just doing a little bit of research on the kocha products i'm not complaining because that sounds fun i love learning about beauty health products and a little bit later i'm gonna go start trying some of them out give them my feedback share with you guys but yeah i'm just reading about the history of um this business and kind of just doing all the things that anyone would do probably right when they start working for a company Doo -doo -doo -doo. time to check out their studio when i heard that they had one of these i was like i want to come see it because you guys know i love filming so this is like my jive Ooh, and then this is what companies usually use for um like product photography or product videos like a little white backdrop I'm really so excited to try all of these. I kind of wish I didn't wear makeup because if I didn't have makeup on, I could like put the mask on right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely gonna have to do this one 
when I get home. But should we open this one first? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. The brand name yeah. is the Spackling. Oh, Spackling. And the purchase okay. name is here. Amazing collagen aqua treatments. Made in Korea. Yeah, made in Korea here. Let's open this up. Ooh, so Ooh. vegans. Oh, you can use it for your scalp too. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like a lot of hair treatments, they just recommend you use it down here. Mm -mm. But this one, you can actually. Yeah, true, true. Ooh. For your hair. Mm -hmm. okay. I really, I really like the smell of things. Oh, that is nice. Oh. Just a little bit. Oh. Ooh, okay. So I've it's been taking push, but it just come out. Like more liquidy than I expected. Yeah. It has a vegan certification, and it has a plant collagen and it's moisturizing and it can be creamy and it becomes the essence Ah, uh, yeah because when you mix it with water it yeah, probably yeah, is gonna true. change a little bit mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it's really like a cosmetic product okay this next one i was so excited when i found out you guys were gifting this one to me because i'm like obsessed with lash perms mm -hmm. i have you ever had a lash perm like, oh yeah yeah shop before i've been wanting to find one that i can do at home so i feel like this is going to be perfect <gasps> Ooh, Ooh that's so luxurious. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you wearing makeup? Can we try it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can really? try it. Really? Yeah, okay. of course. Are you sure? Also, I know when I was doing my research this morning, I saw it contains mm -hmm. biotin, which uh -huh. is really helpful for helping mm -hmm. your hair grow. Mm -hmm. um, peptides mm -hmm. and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic oh, acid yeah. is like so, so good for hydrating your mm. um your lashes goes on so nicely like like a little on the eyebrow oh yeah of course just like a little bit you also already have really nice eyebrows oh. if we also do my hair right oh okay you can do that my hair right okay this is so interesting it's a cactus mask i didn't even know you have cactus in korea oh yeah we have a different cactus actually it has the pink flower in it let me show you guys this what? cactus. We didn't know cactus could survive in Korea because it gets so cold here. Okay, it says this kind of cactus survives temperatures of minus 20. Oh, yeah, so that's it's why. Like yeah. a cold surviving. Uh -uh. That's uh -uh. really cool. So, this is made of 97% of Korean cactus extract. And I've heard that cactus extract, kind of similar to snail mucin, it's super, super hydrating for your skin. Oh, it comes with mm. quite a few. Oh, yeah. Do you do mask pack often? Oh yeah, I do. Me too. I love it. Ooh. Oh, I feel like this is going to be so hydrating. Ah, I wish I didn't wear makeup because I want to do this right now. I feel like this is going to be really cooling. Oh yeah. So cooling uh. on the neck. Oh, Isn't it so yeah, cooling? Yeah, it's really soft. Oh, it's so soft. This is also by the same brand, um, Rafa Perry, and this is their Apuncia Humafusa, which is mm. AKA prickly pear. This is their serum. So also made with a form of cactus and prickly pear. Um, I don't know if you know this, it actually contains vitamin K, which mm. is allegedly really good for collagen stimulation. And then also, I feel like a lot of Korean skincare products promote brightening. Oh yeah. Like, looking mm. more like bright and whiter. And that's something that this one does. Oh. Ooh. 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 And prickly pear mm. is another one of those plants that can survive in like the really cold temperatures. Ooh, this is so nice. It's like a tiny, I did a tiny pump. Mm. Mm. Can you imagine like putting this on and then doing your makeup? I feel like the makeup would go on so like, uh, smoothly, right? Can, wait, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Junbom Kim and I've been working in Kotra for two years since uh, 2021, just like Suhyun. I'm having so much fun. You guys seem like you really enjoy your job. Oh, I've actually never heard of like any kind of sport cream. So you can just use this like when you go golfing or hiking or like just simply going to the gym. Mm. Oh, you're putting it on your wrist. Does that mean you're gonna do like pull-ups? Pull ups, yeah. Pull ups? Okay. Probably uh, holding some bars. Ah, on breath. so it kind of like works to heat your body. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
smells so delicious. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What's one piece of advice you would give to somebody who wants to work in a Korean company like Kotra or similar company or opposite? Think it's to be really like buyer friendly. It's a good yeah. thing to think about. Buyer is our target market. We can say like that. So we need to have uh, the open mind. Open mind, yeah. And Think about different perspectives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a really good yeah. answer. You said earlier there's like a bunch of overseas branches. Yeah. Do you guys communicate with those branches or how does that work? Oh, we always have a communication with them. So in Hardcore, we deal with Korean companies mm -hmm. and the overseas branches deal with the buyers. So we communicate with them a lot. It's a little soap bag that you can put your soap in. I love these. It smells so nice. Like a spa. I'm gonna go with chamomile. All right, so back from our lunch. It was amazing. The pokey was such a good idea. Yeah, thank you. And pizza. I didn't expect the pizza. Yeah. But now we're going to brush our teeth. We're using the Herb Story toothpaste, which is also distributed by Kotra. And did you guys know that it is kind of like a Korean culture thing to brush your teeth after lunch? I know, I know it's like a normal mm -hmm. thing, but it's something you often see in oh. offices, right? Like yes, yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Mm. It's that it has a chamomile inside. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm. It comes with so much. It's so good. Are you surprised that I said it was like a cultural thing? Yeah, it was so amazing. So like in Korea, we every day we just brush our teeth after lunch. So after yeah. the lunch, everybody is gathering here. Right, yeah. yeah. And like when you were going to school, you would bring a toothbrush to school, right? Yes, they don't do that in the States. Yeah. No. Can I also try? Yeah. Yum. Isn't it so fresh? Yeah, okay. So my style. Mm -hmm. Like I love like the herbal floral. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> All right, guys, my work day just came to an end. So much reflecting. This has been a really good experience. I know it was only one day, but I got to learn so, so much. For someone like myself who loves to work with Korean brands, something I didn't think much about is how much it takes to get a Korean brand overseas. Obviously, Korea is a pretty small country and it just recently had like high development over the past 30 years. Knowing that this place was founded in the 60s and seeing how big they are is so inspiring. And so many of these brands have been able to expand all over the world thanks to Kotra. They're doing such an amazing job with bringing everything, food products, cosmetic, beauty, all over the world, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed my day at the office. I'm heading home for the day. I will see you in a little bit. Bye, Globy. Bye-bye. All right, hi guys. I am back home now after a quick little plane ride. I got back to Busan. I washed my hair and I've been really eager to try out the hair treatment that we talked about earlier. Another thing I didn't realize is this is actually made with mushroom extract. I don't know if we talked about that earlier, but mushroom extract is really good for retaining water and giving you um, like extra, extra hydration. Ah, oh, okay, so that's what it means by liquid to cream. As you can tell, once it touches my damp hair, it turns into more of a creamy formula. That is so interesting. All right, treatment is in. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll wash it out. I just got a shower. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness. So, so soft. It reminds me a lot of how my hair feels whenever I go to a salon. Wow, I am so glad that I now have this in my bathroom. I feel like I'm gonna be using this all the time. Okay, let's give the wrap up hair a serum a try. We tried this on our hands earlier at the office, but I have not had a chance to actually test this out on my face. So nice. 
Oh my goodness. This feels like silk. Feels like actual silk, like a velvety, silky sheet on my face. Oh my goodness. It's interesting because I feel like I can feel it absorbing into my skin, but at the same time, it's so silky to the touch. So I feel like I'm getting like a dual effect. So nice. All right, hair is washed, skincare is done, which means I am about ready for bed. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek into office life in Korea. I wanna give a huge thank you to uh, the staff at Kotra for inviting me to their office. It's so interesting seeing like just a behind the scenes of how a huge company like this is run. I really had no idea just how much goes into all of the logistics of importing and exporting products from Korea. It's wild to think that they have offices all over the world. You got your hands on some kind of Korean snack or skincare, there is definitely a chance that it got to your country with the help of Kotra. If you guys wanna learn more about Kotra, I will have some more info about them down in the description box, but that's about it for the vlog. I love you and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.